Hey, what's up guys? It's George, and in this video, I want to address and answer a question that was asked to me. Someone had sent me an email, and they, they wanted to know my thoughts uh, because they feel like they have caused permanent damage due to their years and decades of smoking weed, that they feel kind of like permanently fucked up. And, and I've had people ask this to me before, and, uh, and I thought this was an interesting topic and something that many of us that have been longtime potheads and smoked day in and day out for years and decades um, have had to come to terms with. Are we permanently fucked up? And I know that this is something that I have asked myself many times over the years. And, uh, and so I really wanted to address this. It's a good question, and, and this is the thing. When you've smoked so long, every day, day in and day out for, for years and, and decades, it can be hard to remember what you were like before. Before you got into all the drugs and alcohol and smoking and everything, it can kind of, it can be very challenging to remember, you know, what your day to day was like, like your level of energy, how you felt, uh, you know, your, your perception, everything. It's, it's hard to, you know, go back and humans are creatures of amnesia, so it's difficult to, to, to remember that. Uh, and after near almost 20 years of smoking weed, I'm, you know, I finally started to wonder that to myself, you know, am I permanently fucked up? Um, because, you know, I, I pretty much like always feel spaced out and spacey. And uh, um, my answer is that I do feel like I did permanent damage. Maybe I didn't, maybe this is how I've always been, but even after I quit, I, oh, I, I do feel like, uh, you know, I'm always a little spacey, things are, you know, like super bright, I daydream super easy, I get distracted very easily. And uh, my thoughts, hey, this, you know, I'm sure the many years of smoking and drinking and doing drugs didn't, uh, you know, wasn't like vitamins for my brain. So I uh, definitely lost some brain cells. And, and, and I think that I did cause some damage. And if you have smoked a tremendous amount of weed for a very long time, you may have as well. And I know this is debatable. You know, maybe some people say, I don't know if there's clear cut science that can attest to this or not. But regardless, the mind is a powerful thing. And after smoking for so long, it can kind of feel like you're permanently high. And when this happens to you, it can feel kind of defeating. Because I remember there was a time when I first was kind of like noticing this, that it was like, you know, if this is how I am, like permanently fucked up, you know, like what's the point of even trying to get sober? And this is the kind of emails that I've received and people have asked where they kind of feel like defeated. Like, man, I've caused permanent damage to myself, so what's the point? Um, you know, like just down and out about life. And this is what I want to say on this is that regardless if we've done any permanent damage or not, it's okay. You can still live a phenomenal life. Even with any permanent damage that I've done to myself, maybe I'll die a lot earlier than I should have for all the years of doing drugs and crazy shit. But um, regardless, I'm going to maximize my life while I am here. And regardless, I have still created a great life for myself. Regardless, I have multiple businesses. I coach people from all over around the world. Uh, um, I exercise every single day. I'm an athlete, train jujitsu, train for races. Uh, I have friends all over. I mean, uh, I'm always working on new projects that, that are meaningful to me. So regardless, I've made the best of the situation. If you take a look at animals, you know, say for example, if you've ever seen if you've ever seen a dog that has three legs or a wolf that has three legs, they don't cry and maintain or, or, and and stay in this victim mentality. They just make the best of the situation. Uh, in fact, I've had a business appointment before with a family and they had a dog with just two legs, just two hind legs. It was born without the front legs and still was like the friendliest dog, you know, hopping around like a bunny and, uh, you know, still a happy, active dog. And I've seen plenty of dogs with three legs and it's like they don't even notice. They just make the best of their situation. 
And, and that's what I am to say with this. That's what my intention, my message is to say with that. This is that, you know, we are all going to go through things in life that are going to permanently fuck us up. Whether it is from drugs, alcohol, uh, whether, you know, it could be from a traumatic experience. If you've ever been through a tremendous breakup, that per permanently fucks you up. Uh, if you've ever been through uh, something very traumatic, you lost... Uh, you know, the life of somebody very close to you, a family member, that can permanently fuck you up. Anytime you go through a tremendous amount of pain, that pain permanently changes us. And this is the thing, I mean, just this year, I lost a, a, a family member that was very challenging for me. And in talking with my other family members and so forth, we realized that, you know, this is something that we can't change. We can't undo what has happened. So the key is then to learn to deal with it to learn how to effectively still manage your life and, and go through with life, even though this tragedy happened. Is, is, it's not that you can undo trauma or you can't undo any permanent damage that we maybe have done to ourselves, but it's learning how to deal with it. Okay, you know, you lost your leg in an accident or something happened, well, you can't just, uh, you know, get a new one, at least not yet, maybe someday, so we got to learn to deal with it then. we got to learn to make the best of the situation. Uh, if, if, if something happens to us that we have no control over, it, uh, then it's pointless to spend the rest of our life crying and being upset over it and letting it defeat us. Learn to deal with it. If you've gone through a terrible breakup uh, and you're not, you know, they're not taking you back, you're not getting back together, well, learn to deal with this. This pain that you've been through can actually become a gift. It can, can become a catalyst for, for energy and motivation. Uh, you know, energy, you can transfer that energy. I've used, I've found pain and anger to be some of my greatest sources of motivation. This being spaced out and, and being out there and feeling like I'm, I'm permanently fucked up. Now I coach addicts. Hey, you know what, I get because I've been through a lot of shit in my life, I've overdosed, I understand what it's like to go through withdrawals and addictions, uh, uh, I've gotten to myself in serious trouble due to drugs and alcohol, arrested, I get it. So I have turned my mess into a message and now I work with and I help other addicts. I can relate because I see this as a gift. Hey, you know what, I'm primarily spacey, I can relate to it. I'm here to say that this, you can still have this happen to you, you can still be permanently fucked up and still live a great life. Now, what if I would have just been like, you know what, uh, I'm permanently spacey and messed up, probably killed one too many brain cells, uh, and I just decided to be a victim, and I just decided to spend the rest of my life just being depressed, crying about it, you know, whining about it, not pursuing my goals and dreams in life because of this, how would that have served me? And in fact, not only would it have uh, um, led to my demise in a, uh, uh, in a, in a life that is less than optimal, but I wouldn't have been able to help so many people. So many thousands of people that I've been able to help with my messages. That, because of it, I, that would have been me being selfish, only focusing on myself and, oh, poor me, and everybody else would have had to suffer. You know, I wouldn't have coached the people that I helped to turn around their lives, and now they're crushing it. Uh, all the thousands and thousands of people who've watched my videos and subscribed to my channel, all of them, they wouldn't have, have been able to receive the benefits of it. So by you maintaining the victim and not pursuing your best life, the whole world is gonna suffer from it. We all are gonna suffer from it. Maybe you could create a gift, uh, maybe you could create something that could change the whole world. A book, a service, a product, maybe some videos. And because of you not, because of you maintaining the victim and believing that you can't, and uh, um, you know, feeling defeated, the whole world is gonna suffer. We won't get to benefit from that fruit you could bear to the world. And so, uh, is it possible to get permanent, de permanent damage from, from smoking weed every day for a long period of time? I do think yes, I think that it is possible. Our brains are very sensitive and um, uh, you know, I, I do think that it's possible, you know, especially if you were smoking abnormally strong stuff and uh, you know, for a day in a day out for a long time, you know, it's not like you're gonna have a hole through your head or something, but you maybe just kind of like 
you know, you know, it's it's kind of like forming a habit. You know, if you do the same thing over and over and over, you 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 wire the neurons together and everything. I think that could be possibly what happened. It's just like so many years and decades smoking weed, the neurons are like wired together and being a permanently spaced out high kind of state. And maybe you can be undone. Maybe you can undo it after many years and decades of living sober. Um, you know, that's, I haven't been sober for decades yet. So, you know, maybe I'll be able to tell in the future. Um, I do feel like it's gotten better over time that, it, you know, I don't really even think about it very often. Just once in a while, I'll just be like, damn, I'm spaced out. You know, it's like I'm high. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I'll be like, are you sure you didn't smoke last night? It's like, I can't even believe it. Cause it's like, I feel so high and spaced out that it's like, what? It takes me a while to, you know, <laughs> uh, uh, get my wits back together again. So, um, uh, so is it po possible to cause permanent damage from smoking weed every day? Sure, sure probably. If uh, you have a science article that says something different, post it, I'd be glad to review it. But either way, the situation is that we make the best of it regardless, okay? Deal with it. Whatever life hands you, take it, deal with it, and be like that dog with a missing leg, you know? Just don't cry, be the victim over it. Just keep moving forward. Make the best of it. Deal with the situation at hand, and you can still crush it. Even if you got no, there are people in this world who succeed, uh, who are blind, who got no arms. There are people with no arms and no legs who are successful motivational speakers, people that are paraplegics, every kind of situation that's much worse off than us, and yet they are still succeeding. And so if you're a little spacey or, you know, you feel like you're a little fucked up, then see it as a gift. Utilize this to make your best, to just, to crush it in pursuit in life. And then you'll be able to be a light to other people and saying, hey, you know what? Um, regardless of any damage, years and decades of doing drugs and alcohol, I still was able to, you know, pursue my best alive. So you can be that example to other people and inspiring them to keep moving forward and not to be, not be, not feel defeated. All right. So I hope you all are having a great day. Let's make it a great week, a great month, a great year. Let's make it a great life. Peace out.